Uh, World of Horror. What is what is this one about? Yeah, for the, so this is from Pants that Dads. Definitely mm-hmm. sounds like one of those I will never touch. Probably not, no. Uh, which is a shame because it's a really cool RPG. Uh, there's really cool RPG and investigation elements, but it's also like it's inspired by the works of Junji Ito, who is like the world famous uh, horror manga artist. So yeah, doubt it. It's like it, it's like Junji Ito and Lovecraftian horror put into a game. And it's really, really cool. But like I can it's not like there's not like a lot of like jump scare elements to it. So maybe you might be interested in playing it, but it, it's definitely horror focused. Um, It's really, really cool. Uh, Really, really cool. Uh, It's already out in early access. It comes out out of early access uh, on Halloween. And it is. Yeah, it has a lot of inspiration from like Lovecrafting fiction with the way that it's about old, like older gods or elder gods kind of like infecting this small town. Um, it's all very, very cool. Um, the RPG and investigation elements are a lot of fun. So. Um, what, what kind of RPG are we talking like turn-based, uh, um, action? think, think like old school, like dragon warrior, uh, like, okay. You see the image of the enemy and then you pick options to like defeat them. Um, so classic kind of turn-based stuff, like very classic turn-based. Okay. Is that like the the art style is also like throwback? Stuff uh, yeah, it's it like modern? it's like it's like eight or tw- like eight to sixteen bit style. Okay. Um, very very cool. I mean, if it's if it's something like that, I'd probably be fine with it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I think it's, you'd be fine with it. It's more like yeah. is this like you know uh, modern day very high end graphics that are going to no. be no, gross no, no, no. and grotesque and stuff like no. that? No, no. Right. That's why I think you would you actually be interested in it as far as like a horror game goes. And it's more about like the mystery aspect of it and like kind of like the the surreal sub, like um suburban what's the term used like uh legend like urban legend type stuff. Uh more focus on that. Junji Ito is really great about like grasping on those with his individual works. And so a lot of that is derived from it into this game and it's very very cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, this this looks very like yeah, like early PC kinds of stuff. I mean, also, yeah, I guess look at, like the graphics are are not eight bit graphics. They are very detailed drawings and whatnot. <laughs> I guess uh, I don't know. What, looking at some of the horror and stuff. I was trying to figure out like what kind of like graphics you would describe that as. And the best I could think of is like bit. I mean, yeah, it, it, like, yeah, it looks like adventure game like graphics, like a very high end, uh, uh, you know, Curse of Monkey Island kind of thing. Um, but also, yeah, very detailed and very. Like it's not leaving a lot to the imagination in terms of uh, the the eldritch horror people with just like no face and just teeth vibes that I'm seeing here. So gross. 